right, Mark Hennig unveiled a very nice colt by the name of Bourbon War, a third time starter, a son of Tappet. What did you think of him? I liked him. I, I, he's a, you have to love the pedigree by Tappet and that very good race mare, uh, my Conquistadorian. Um, Bourbon War, I, I, what I liked about this race, let's take a look at the tape, is that sometimes you get loose in the lead and you look good. Sometimes you catch a field that kind of falls down in front of you. But he took dirt. Yes, he I mean, did. You know, and you know as a rider, that's not a real good place to be, especially with a Colts that's only had two starts. But he showed some moxie to overcome this trip and exert his superiority. And he really did because he's starting to go backwards there, Bourbon War. The rider who's aboard him, Irad Ortiz, just keeps plugging at him, keeps plugging at him, and says, well, you're going to go right through here. <laughs> And he does. And he really did show some moxie. He did. Now you can see him split horses turning into the stretch. He's going to draw off. Now, unlike the, the colt we just talked about, who only got the 70 buyer number, this colt's going to get a very strong 89 buyer. But the fractions were much faster, so that's why the race was run in normal time. And you can see him draw off under hand, urging only. Zoe, this horse looks like he's a mile and a quarter horse. Now, I don't know if that makes him a Kentucky Derby horse, but he will run as far as they want him to. He's got a good way of moving. Mark Hennig used to train for us, so I know he, he takes his time. This colt will be ready. And he's got to think, he's got to think stakes and, and derby preps from here on in. I'll tell you one other thing as well about Mark Hennig. He's the type of trainer that likes to race his horses into shape. Absolutely. The fact that this horse won first time out at 17 to 1 spells ability to and, me. And not only that, but after he broke his mane at Aqueduct, Mark ran him back on the Remsen, which was probably a bit too soon, but he still ran fourth. It wasn't a bad race. Gave him, a, you know, six weeks, seven weeks off, brought him back in this allowance race, wins this, and I think now with the three starts, I think uh, Bourbon War is ready to tackle uh, some good ones, and we'll, again, find out just how good he is next time out.